what is up ladies and gentlemen week 13 predictions were delayed i apologize for that been very busy very busy stressed out with some personal stuff but that's not why i'm here uh as always i'm gonna start off with some announcements the uh all-star game for this the all-star match i should say for this month as of right now subject to change is a uh, beast carbon shifu christian myself and chaos in a uh, free for all game at the rail yard in the class of chaos is choosing of course if he loses his championship that uh, all change sorry for the annoying ass birds in the, bath in the bathroom they're fucking loud um yeah i think uh, that that's not it actually so uh like i said the month is coming to an end congratulations on everyone that stuck through um thick and thin everyone waiting through the waters of the sleep and whatnot we have the awards will be coming out uh should be next i don't want to say next week in two weeks i give that two weeks two weeks i'm not gonna give you a day but two weeks the awards are very close this time probably the hardest ones to choose from and uh yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on this one um let's jump into the first match we have bash and top gear tim going against awesome gamer and dude in an any class rail yard match where the winners face the 2v2 champions in week 14 bash and tim really got thrown into a last minute match last week and uh they did not come out victorious However, I do not see that being the case this time. They both know their matches. Of course, their opponents do as well. But uh, I would have to give Bash and Tim the experience factor. And I'm going to predict them to come away with about a three-minute win. Not three minutes in total. You know, a three-minute gap between uh, Tim and Bash's runner against Awesome and Dudes. And uh, Bash and Tim will be able to face the 2v2 champions. I think that would be the first time they're ever competing for the championships together. Uh, I know Bash did it with Beast once, and I know Tim did it with Lesky once, so it'll be a very interesting month in February. Second match is the 2v2 championship match. It will be Dundee and Christian going against Beast Carbon and Shifu. Now, Beast and Shifu, please, you guys have proven yourself worthy. If this was a prediction against me and Trio again, I'd predict you guys to win it. If it was against any other two uh, people, I'd probably predict you guys to win it too. Don't think it's anything against you guys. Trust me, it's not. You're amazing competitors. You definitely show that you could best me and Trio. And, uh, yeah, but I'm going to have to give this one to Dundee and Christian. Dundee is hungry for his 2v2 championship back. Christian, I wouldn't say he's hungry, but he is a competitor. He is definitely one hell of a competitor. I believe he is the only person in this month that is undefeated. Uh, um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Sheaf and Beast might also be undefeated in this month as well. That is probably the case, but you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. That's going to be one hell of a match. going to be very close. I'm going to say a uh, 30 second victory for Dundee and Christian, however. It is any class rail yard as well. I forgot to throw that in there, but you guys probably already knew that. Third match, the Rear Blue Drive Championship match. S1, uh, which has been a recent trend for Christian. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He's going to be going against Omar E, Tree Trio, and Lesky. Now, fourth place, Omar E. Third place, Tree Trio. Second place, this is a hard one, but I'm going to say Christian's finally going to lose his championship. I'm going to say Aleski is coming into this match well prepared now. He's had his he's his taste of blood in the rear wheel drive scene again, and Aleski's back in the rear wheel drive, so I think he will be able to come out with the victory. It's not going to be no outstanding 6-5 minute win. Now, that's going to be a close one. That's going to be about, again, 30 second range, I'd say. Very close. Maybe even 20 seconds. But, Aleski, I do see you winning that match. Fourth match, me, Dude, Camillo, and Charlie in the S2 Quarry. 
Um, now, if Camilla was able to make it this time, then I will say he... Hmm, as to... You know what? This is my prediction for this match. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say Dude in fourth. Charlie in third. Second, Camillo, and then me first. Please, I'm not, I'm not trying to be biased. Please, I'm not trying to be biased. Uh, actually, the only reason I am saying myself is because I built the car about five hours ago for it. Uh, I was going to come into this prediction video. If I did it any earlier than five hours ago, I was going to say that Camillo was going to win it. But I do have a car that I'm very, very confident in using now. And I might just get a slight victory. Probably, uh... And one minute victory over those over those guys. Uh, will be one hell of a match though. I hope everyone can make it. Please come in. I know you have a job. I know that's way more important than the fucking King League. You're not making money from this. Go ahead and get that money. But if you can, please try to make it. In the last match, Hunterberg, Top Gear Tim, uh, Chaos, and the new signee, Killer Turbo going against, well, going off against each other in an A-class match for the King of King Championship. That's going to be another good one. I think lowering the class down definitely makes it an uh, even playing field for just about all of these competitors. However, I've not seen Killer play. I guess I should probably go on this profile and look at clips to help solve with this issue of not knowing what to predict people who've never played before, or I've never seen before, I should say. But, uh, I'm gonna say him in fourth, and uh, I hate doing that, but yeah. Fourth place for him. I'm gonna say third place for Hunterberg. I'm gonna say Chaos gets second, and I'm gonna say Top Gear Tim wins his championship back. Because, hear me out here, A class is the class that Tim won his championship in, and that was against Dundee. No disrespect to anybody in this match. But I think everyone can agree that Dundee is the better player of anyone in, the, in this week's King of King match. Please don't be discouraged. But, um, yeah, so if Tim did it against him, I don't think it should be too hard to possibly come out with the same exact result just two weeks later against different opponents. Uh, depending on... I do see Tim coming up with this one. Do not count Chaos out, though. I don't think that was a fluke win. Chaos is is really getting up there in skill. And uh, I don't want to say anything that's going to spoil anything in the future. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for my predictions. As always, guys, good luck. And I will see you guys in this video.